back everybody! I hope everyone is having a great time enjoying the epic festivities of the WoW 30th anniversary event. I know me and my guild are really enjoying Heroic BRD and the challenge that that's bringing to the table. But today, we are going to be going through the thrilling challenge of conquering Mythic Plus 5 and you won't want to miss a moment of the action. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that like button and join our Zero to Hero epic adventure. I truly appreciate all your support. So I finally decided to progress my Mythic Plus section of my Zero to Hero challenge by completing Mythic Stone Vault Plus 5. Mythic Plus is a set of seasonal dungeons that Blizzard releases and as your key number gets higher, it either adds a bonus or an affix which changes the way a dungeon interacts with a player. Mythic Plus 5 represents a pivotal difficulty and level in the Mythic Plus dungeon, where understanding the mechanics of each encounter becomes crucial. Players must be adept to interrupting various skills effectively utilizing cow control and ensuring that the team is appropriately geared to succeed. One of the most significant challenges I encountered was assembling the ideal team composition. Achieving the right balance of buffs, healing, and taking is essential for success. Without it, progress can be severely hindered. Even with the perfect setup, success is not guaranteed. When seeking or forming a group, it is important to exercise patience. Rushing can lead to inefficiencies and ultimately <laughs> cost of climbing your key. Another huge challenge was dealing with the sheer amount of damage that gets thrown at you in a Mythic Plus 5. I mean, the affixes are brutal, especially as a squishy enhancement shaman. If you're not careful, you can get one shot by a pack of mobs. I had to be really cognizant of my cooldowns and use every trickery in the book to stay alive. And let me tell you, it was a real nail biter at some point. To beat Stone Vault Mythic Plus 5 as an enhancement shaman, I focused on optimizing my gear for critical strike and haste to maximize damage and survivability. Time your cooldowns effectively during key moments, especially when enemies are grouped together. Use crowd control abilities like Capacitator Totem, Thunderstorm, and Windshear to manage dangerous mobs and communicate with your team to avoid overextending. Stay aware of the dungeon mechanics as they greatly affect your run. With practice and teamwork, you can successfully conquer Stone Bolt Plus 5. So what did I learn from this whole experience? Well, first and foremost, I learned that perseverance is key. I mean, if I had given up after a few wipes, I would have never made it. But I didn't give up, and that's what's mattered. I also learned the importance of understanding my abilities and how they contribute or benefit to the team. Communication and teamwork. I mean, if we hadn't worked together as a team, we wouldn't have made it. And finally, I learned to never underestimate the power of a good team composition. I mean, it can make all the difference in the world. Alright everybody, that's going to wrap up this week's Zero to Hero Challenge segment. Thank you for watching everyone, it really means a lot to me. I'd love to hear your experience with Mythic Plus and share your stories and tips in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting gaming content and strategy. Join our community and level up your gameplay with us. Yeah!